Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to talk to you about the latest good news. This is a summary video of all the good news that has happened to Rocket Lab in the last two, three days. We've been getting contracts. Uh, we've been getting new news that Electron is going to be reused. And today we got a new contract and oh boy, oh boy, Electron, uh, Electron, Rocket Lab was... Uh, plus five percent up today at one point it was the greenest stock on all my watch list and that was very nice to see and I think things in the short term should be turning around with all this good news because we had no news and it feels like investors were filling in the no data with that everything must be going bad and now we're getting good news after good news after good news and people are realizing at below four dollars this company is not dead so let's do a short summary video so thank you for being here please make sure you're subscribed and let's begin the video so the first good news was that they got a new contract from space force department of defense uh, the mission is called the stp s30 and they have done this before and this is not really a very expensive mission this this was the first small good news it's 14 million dollars i think maybe 13 um so it's just another contract win so the reason why this is good news is because one it breaks the long silence that they have had and two is the more contracts they get the more they ties solidify with the space force and you know the fact that the space force is rebuying is a good sign it shows that they were happy with rocket lab so that's all about this contract uh, the next one is a very very interesting one i maxed, messed up the order so they tweeted i believe yesterday that uh, this electron has been to space and back and now it's getting ready to go again and the reason why this was very surprising is because uh, Adam Spice, in when he was on a conference, I can't remember which one, he said that they're not focusing on trying to recover boosters and trying to refly, refly Electron uh, because the whole team is in on Neutron uh, and we shouldn't expect it this year. And yet we have this news that for the first time a recovered Electron stage has been returned to the production line to undergo final acceptance and qualification testing in preparation for reflight. So this is very new. There was a cynical side of me and it triggered a lot of people in the last video when I said it, but I was like, I really hope that the management, because the management team must see that, you know, the, the stock price is going down and getting an all time high, all-time low stock is not good for many reasons one it makes them very hard to raise capital if they ever need to i don't think they need to uh, but the more important is that it can demotivate uh, employees because the employees get uh, share-based compensation and then obviously if your shares are worth three dollars instead of ten dollars your compensation becomes a lot less your options are maybe even not worth anything as a an employee and number three it can prevent you from being able to hire great people because you're going to pay them in stock and if your stock just keeps going down then why would they come and work for you uh, so it is in interest of management to somehow have the stock price as high as as it can be you know and i was like i really hope this is not like an admission that uh, neutron is going really really bad and they had to have some good news and they're like okay refocus from neutron to reflying electron and this was just a thought that crossed my mind and again it triggered a lot of people it's just i want to be transparent and again it's just a thought um i hope that there's nothing to it we're going to get an update with the q1 earnings that is uh, coming soon what I think is happening is that they, every time they recovered assets, they reassessed the assets and they said, okay, th these parts did really well, but these parts didn't. And you know, this is how we can change so that, that they do better. And I think that uh, this um, booster just was doing everything better than expected. And then the team thought that okay it's i mean look here tank pressurization test uh, completed helium leak check completed carbon fiber uh, structural testing uh, completed and it passed everything in flying colors so i think that it's doing better than they expected 
And this is really good news because obviously everything that they're learning on Electron, they're going to use on Neutron. And uh, plus when they can use reflown uh, Electrons, the, it means that their gross margin is going to go a lot higher. They have very good cadence this year so far. At, at least the planned ca ca uh, cadence is very good. We would like to see a bit more uh, rocket launches. Um, so that part is down. We know that that's one of the things that increases the gross margin uh, very much. And if they are able to refly electrons now because they could make the necessary changes, and this is going to be a regular occurrence, this means that their gross margin is going to be much better and they're that much closer to profitability. And now the big thing, this is the one that really moved the stock today. And I was really, really happy to see one, see this one. So. Uh, the U.S. Space Force selected uh, Rocket Lab to design a spacecraft and then fly it on Electron uh, on a 24-hour uh, notice. So I, I guess they have to design the spacecraft. The spacecraft has to uh, pass certain things and then they have 24 hours from a notice to uh, launch this. So this validates their concept that they are a one-stop shop uh, for you know everything space and they actually sold one of the designs that they announced um, you remember in the last uh, earnings call or just before the earnings call they announced that instead of having just a photon bus they have like four different buses now pioneer whatever whatever i don't know the names it's quite late when i'm making this video um and so they sold one of those uh, that has been renamed. It's a $32 million uh, dollar, uh, contract. And again here, they will see Rocket Lab design, build, and launch and operate a rendezvous proximity operation capable spacecraft. I'm not a space nerd, so I had to ask ChatGPT to explain this to me in a very simple way. And basically the rendezvous proximity operation means when two spacecraft are flying in orbit you know they're going f uh, their speed is like 27000 kilometers per hour something insane and for them to be able to dock and park uh, each other without crashing into one another that is called a rendezvous proximity operation like the fact of getting close to each other and getting ready to dock so this is what um they ordered from uh, Rocket Lab. And again, this is funny because they get paid to do research and development to gain new capabilities for their spacecraft. When their spacecraft can rendezvous, uh, they can do a lot more things than they could do before. Maybe, you know, orbital refueling, uh, you know, maybe orbital repair, yada, yada, yada. So they, it, they're essentially getting paid for their R&D to be more capable than, than they ever have. Um, this contract also um, involves operating the asset, which is again part of this uh, one-stop shop. So it, this is like a proof of concept. I was very, very happy to see it. Again, it's not the world's biggest contract, uh, 34 million, but it is a nice chunk. It's almost 10% of this year's revenue. The whole mission will fly in 2025 uh, and it's a test one. So maybe if this is successful, they will get a much bigger order. And I wanna remind everyone again, the fact that they're getting these orders, it means that uh, the Space Force really trust them. They see them as you know very reliable and trustworthy partner. And this was, very, very good news. I was very happy to see the stock up at 5% at one point today. I was like, wow, I didn't know Rocket Lab is capable of also moving up because recently it's just been ugly red. Um, cool. So that's been the last two days. Let me know if this video gave you uh, any value. And uh, if you want to support the channel, you can become a channel member uh, or support me on Patreon. The link is in the description uh, box below and you get exactly nothing for it. You basically just support the channel. You get access to my models and um, yeah, that, that's about it. Anyways, the most important thing is that you're here and you're watching and I'll see you probably tomorrow in the next video. Ciao, ciao.